Hello, happy Tuesday and welcome back to this. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing okay today. It's a beautiful day here. My windows are open. I'm letting you know that because it's nice enough to have the windows open, but also because my neighbors have uh, like teenagers that live with them and they like to play basketball back there. They're good neighbors and I don't mind. So just be warned if you hear that kind of sound, it's my neighbors. Um, so Patreon subscribers, please be sure to read the post below this video on Patreon. Read it carefully. Changes are happening. To everybody else, welcome. Hi. So I wanted to talk today about love letters in the form of books. You see it a lot. Um, fiction writers will write a book and it'll sort of be a veiled or not so veiled love letter to something that they love to a sport, to a musician, to a whole genre of music. You see it a lot. Um, and it's a lot of, you know, just because I have seen it a lot from men. And just because horror in itself tends to be a bit of a men-saturated market, uh, there's a lot of, you know, there are a lot of stories, you know, love letters to sports and bands and those kind of rough riding kind of dudes that other dudes look up to and us women are going, okay, <laughs> I get it. I fully support it. Keep doing it. So I was thinking, have I ever written a love story? And the thing is, is I have, I wrote a love letter to something that I absolutely love. Snack cakes. <laughs> it's just furthers the point that I keep trying to drive home to you that I am a total and utter clown. So <laughs> of course these are going to appear backwards. The writing is going to appear backwards, but, um, it's my book killer chronicles. This is the thunderstorm version. And I wanted to show it off because I really love the cover, uh, with the stew pot, the famous stew pot. If you've read the book, you know, the stew pot. I love the stew pot. The stew pot actually grosses me out. And then this is the bloodshot cover and there are actually snack cakes on the front. Now, when I first wrote the book, uh, I had my favorite snack brand all throughout Little Debbie. Uh, there is a point in the book where the main supernatural being appears before our main protagonist as Little Debbie. <laughs> when I turned it in to the publisher, the publisher came back and was like, yes, yes, this book is great, but Summer, we can't do having a branded company as one of the characters. We can't do that. Because honestly, snack cakes play a really big part in this story. So I had to go back through and change the name of the snack cake company to Nummy Nellies. I wrote a jingle and everything. It's in the book. And we've got a uh, mascot. Lynn Hansen did this and I just think it's brilliant. So yeah, <laughs> I wrote a love letter to snack cakes. Um, the snack cakes actually in the story are a catalyst for something happening. Uh, they're mentioned a thousand times. They're mentioned in the last line of the book. And I just, so I'm having a little like moment here because I don't, I don't want you l l listeners, you viewers to feel like I'm just making a commercial for one of my books. But on the other hand, I am a writer and I would very much like more readers. I would very much like for people to buy my books. So I'm trying to work through the anxiety of not doing the salesman pitch, but also, yeah, please buy my books. So it, I'm going to get a little tripped up a little because I, I, I'm trying to work through this icky feeling that I have. So please forgive me. So I wanted to read to you a section from this book. And it, I mean, it's a, it's a paragraph talking about snack cakes. This is in the beginning and this is only a taste <laughs> of how ridiculous this gets. So my protagonist is off on a work ex assignment and she is um, making a mental list of things she needs to get done. Number one on the list. I needed to go and stock up on Nummy Nelly snack cakes. It's something that I giddily blame on my mom, my impotence on the job, unless I have a Nummy Nelly to eat. 
When I was young, my ongoing anxiety problems started to surface after the death of my father, so doing homework and learning new things was a big challenge for me. My mom would give me Nummy Nelly snacks to, quote, to make the experience a little sweeter, tweeter, as she said. It stuck. All through college, my mom would send me care packages containing laundry detergent, new pants, and Nummy Nellies. I loved them all and would go through phases where I would favor one over the other, stripey cakes being the one I returned to the most. In Reading, tasty cakes are the big pastry of choice, but I can't seem to fall in love with them the same way that I love my Nummy Nelly cakes. Dolly Madison also doesn't measure up. Neither does Hostess. Sure, some things are okay, but when I need that relaxation in order to get the full scale of my mind working, it has to be Nummy Nelly. <laughs> so, yes, there are so many writers out there who write these really profound, thoughtful love letters to something that worked on their lives. And then there's me making videos about snack cakes. <laughs> So this is a short one today because there's other stuff to be done, especially where these are concerned. And again, Patreon subscribers, please be sure to read the post below this video. And everybody else, again, welcome. You, well, welcome to the nightmares of my Bluetooth remote that sometimes works, sometimes does not. And, oh yes, I, as soon as I turn this off, I'm going to be eating these. I have to take pictures for the thumbnail for this video. And maybe they'll feature me stuffing my face with these. Maybe they won't last that long, but we shall see. Again, I hope everybody is doing well. Times are, I think, still kind of tense. In some ways getting better, in some ways very much not. But I hope you're doing well. Talk to me. Have you read a book that was very obviously the author's love letter to something? Do any of them stick out to you? Were there any where you agreed with that love, you felt it too, let me know, let's talk. So that'll be it for today, that's a very short video, but we'll be back to the normal rambling nonsense soon. So thank you for watching and that'll be it for me today, bye. Oh, the remote's doing it, welcome.